Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Bonka, the Chief Conservation Officer here at Sea Turtle Inc. And I'm very excited to talk to you about nesting season. The main species of sea turtle that we have nesting on our beaches here on South Padre and on Boca Chica is going to be the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, which is the most critically endangered of all of our sea turtle species. So we're very lucky to have them here on our South Texas beaches. The Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is really unique. It nests in the daytime, which no other sea turtle species mainly nests in the daytime. So while you're here enjoying the beaches and having your vacation, uh, you could potentially see a turtle come out of the water and nest near you. Now, if you get lucky and happen to see a sea turtle come out of the water and start making her nest on the beach, give us a call. We have a 24-hour emergency number at 956-243-4361, and we'll come out and respond to that turtle at any time. So here on South Padre Island and Boca Chica beaches, nesting season goes from April through August. And that is when we see our sea turtles coming ashore to lay their nest. When a sea turtle comes ashore to lay her nest, she's going to crawl out of the water. She's going to come up the beach. And typically, in the case of our Kemp's Ridleys, she's going to stop around the base of the dune and dig a hole. The hole that she digs for her nest is typically about a foot to a foot and a half in depth. And then she lays her eggs, which are gonna be anywhere from 80 to about 120 eggs. Those eggs are about the size of a ping pong ball and look very much like ping pong balls. And when she finishes laying those eggs, she's going to cover them up, pack down that sand, and then mess up the area where she was so it makes it harder to find her nest. Once that female has finished her nesting process, so once she's laid those eggs, she's covered it up, she is then going to head back into the water. When we come out to respond to that turtle, uh, we are going to protect that nesting turtle. So we are going to take some measurements, we're going to check her for any tags. And then once she's back in the water, we will collect those eggs. To collect eggs, we are going to be digging them back out of the sand, and we are gonna very carefully pack them into a cooler with other sand so that we can transport them to our protected egg hatchery, which is our corral. Once those nests get back to our corral, we are going to then bury them in the same way that the turtle laid her nest. So that means we are going to be digging a hole that is the same depth and general shape as what that turtle dug herself. We will protect those eggs and it takes about a month and a half and we'll have babies that come out. And when those babies come out, we are working around the clock 24 seven because uh, our females like to nest in the daytime and then our babies like to come out at nighttime. So when they come out, we are gonna collect them. We're gonna take some very quick measurements of those babies, and then we're gonna take them out and release them on the beach so that they can start their journey out into the ocean and hopefully come back and nest with us when they're adults in about 12 years. Now, efforts during nesting season are a great community effort. We have Sea Turtle Inc. staff, we have trained volunteers, and we have the public like you out here looking for turtles. So during nesting season, we're gonna be patrolling our beaches every day, all day. So we have trained volunteers that are gonna be out patrolling our beaches, looking for those turtles and looking for tracks. When they come across a turtle, we have trained and permitted staff that will be responding uh, to protect that turtle, take those measurements and protect that nest. And of course, if you guys happen to see a turtle while you're out enjoying the beach, please do give us a call and we will come out and respond to that turtle.